Let's check it out. Let's see if we got live. We're live there. Looks like we might be live on sensor tube. And let's see if we are live on Rumble. And it looks like we are live on Rumble. Let me pop up the chat for Rumble. Let's see what's going on on sensor tube. This is our first live stream on sensor tube. Uh, new managing moderator close is this our chat let's check it out can i pop this baby out how do i pop this baby out pop chat out then i got the uh, sorry live chat is currently unavailable how come how come live chat is unavailable let's check it out okay i gotta check this out madras how are you doing cheese cheese i think we're live on sensor tube as well hello hello give me a sickie how are you doing but for some reason it's telling me chat is not live so let me check this out let me check this out let me first first see if we are live on sensor tube your channel are we live i don't know if we're live or not um where's my live i really don't know if we're live right now it's telling me we're live live excellent condition current it says it's private i don't even know how to make it not private how do i make it not private what's going on here oh wait a second it's way down here public done save now we're public changes saved so let's see if chat is gonna pop pop chat and the chat has popped new pin chat you can now pin a message got it welcome to live chat let's do a little test test put the link does that pop in or we live let's check it out so there was a couple of settings. Oh, it looks like we are live. Oh, wait a second. Doink. Let's click this. And yep, we are live there. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, did I pop out the chat? Oh man, a lot of things going on. There is the rumble. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Clowny, how are you doing? Ha 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 okay rumble chat i got up on top and sensor to chat i got now i'm not going to be checking the sensor to video um for anyone on sensor tube uh oh elder god i see you nice <laughs> so i guess we're live on sensor tube that's cool okay there was a couple more settings i had to do uh hey chicho i started vaping <laughs> yoga <laughs> salute <laughs> great first message popping in i started vaping nice you're gonna save the lungs if you were smoking you're gonna save the lungs aside from that um if you're an adult do as you please just gonna pour myself a little bit of tequila i'm not promoting anything uh this is not product placement this is just showing you what i'm drinking okay Boop. three of <laughs> success elder god by the way gang elder god was really pushing towards going live on sensor two so uh i had to do it last minute <laughs> to pop it in uh, hopefully someone's keeping an eye on uh, well i got an eye on uh, sensor tube chat uh, i'm not sure if notifications goes out i know sensor tube hasn't been sending notifications uh, uh, well some people i guess might be getting notifications but i don't get notifications and no one i know that is following my channel gets notifications uh, from sensor tube so i'm just checking everything make sure everything's uh, going well yeah, and everything seems to be live, so I'm gonna close this. Keep the chat. 
D <laughs> DJR005. Salutations. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. You're officially uh, first person to comment live. Aside from Alagod, but he was a mod. He knew what was going on in the background. He was on it right away. You're the first uh, viewer to comment on sensor tube on our live stream so salute there's boss massive uh, good afternoon chicho good afternoon thrift how are you doing brandon how are you doing on sensor tube hi chicho i am trying to copy your patio over here in san diego nice you could get some nice growing going on there but it gets up to oh, 100, 100 degrees fahrenheit on the uh, coldest 30 uh, 30 degrees fahrenheit you could uh, you just have to plant according to uh, you know what flourishes there right uh, so avocados uh, kiwis uh, oh man you could plant some lemons oranges maybe i know we have uh, family in uh, cali uh, Los Angeles that are growing uh, little mandarins and lemons and avocados and stuff so you could grow some nice stuff there Brandon I am clowny <laughs> clowny you're on twitch and <laughs> awesome <laughs> lots of brush lots of brush uh boo I'm going with schizophrenic here good thing we're just doing readings Cheryl how are you doing hope uh, hope life is well um i'm trying to quit cigarette smoking oh he's trying to quit cigarette smoking be careful gang heads up be careful with uh, the vapes that are uh chemical contraptions right uh mixtures of stuff um there might be issues there like i only vape bud flower most of it that i've grown so it is what it is 005 H -E Cho, who's your favorite Detroit techno artist? I saw I saw Carl Craig live in Vancouver. Uh, he played a four and a half hour, five hour set. So I would have to say Carl Craig. Uh, Carl Craig is my favorite because I was on the dance floor. I didn't get off the dance floor. I just stayed there the whole five hours of pounding the pounding the uh, the dance floor. It was amazing. He amazing, amazing right uh t -t 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 threesome for the four play platonic pluralist <laughs> hilarious uh if you're gonna vape know the juice you're smoking yeah yeah trying to go full brave brave is i like brave man brave has been very good uh really um uh, let me see it looks like uh things are going well uh, just a quick uh, little rundown of what's going on since we're doing three right now uh, we got four on rumble 31 viewers on twitch and we got what have we got we got nine on sensor two we got i think we're nine on sensor two we got nine on sensor two right no stop using uh, brandon stop using anybody stop using google for your searches uh really really so gang let me give you a lowdown of what we're doing today what we're doing today uh this is going to be sensor to friendly so maybe the the routine we're going to do is uh for stuff that's not sensor to friendly uh we're just going to do a little intro bounce out of sensor to stuff that is sensor to friendly we're gonna maybe keep the stream going right um We'll see how it goes. We'll see how the community feels about it. Okay. Temporary peace. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go crazy and set up your kick account. I tried I tried doing kick, man. It didn't kick in, right? But uh kick uh when I was trying to set up the live stream on kick, it was telling me that I should use a platform to live stream on multiple platforms at the same time. So I have to look into that, right? um and that's the way i was going to go <laughs> to live stream on sensor tube uh and bit shoot when they start allowing it and odyssey at the same time but uh, 
<laughs> Elder God. Elder God was pretty persistent. <laughs> He was like, let's do it. Why well, put off something for tomorrow when it can be done today, right? So, Elder God, we do. Streamlab. It wasn't Streamlab. I'm not sure which one it was. I got to look into it again. Okay. I got to look into it again. Uh, 005, uh, do you think it's best to hold off on buying a house in the Canadian market just now, Chicho? Should I wait? 12 to 15 months cheers um 005 um I, my recommendation to people is regarding uh, investing in houses via they just woke up regarding housing market in canada specifically is um uh, if you're gonna buy cash you can pull the trigger as long as it's popped down but canada from the data that i've seen it's got the biggest housing bubble out of all the uh, Western world, right? It's it's a bigger bubble than the U.S., than Germany, than Ireland, and it's it's a bubble and a half, right? That being said, I have family that's been looking in buying some land, large lots of land. The problem is you don't know what the government's going to do, right? So it really depends what province you're in. Uh, what your finances are like if you can handle interest rate going up if you can handle taxes going up utilities going up insurance going up there's a lot of factors in play man i can't give you give it financial advice on that front right mr me salutations on sensor tube uh, you're the best man thank you so much for all the amazing content you create my pleasure and i, I just got to do what i got to do right uh and thank you for you guys for being here if I didn't have an audience, I don't know how long I'd be pissing into the wind, right? But I'm glad I'm not. Salute. I am RSGT4. Salutations, good sir. Hope you're having a blessed day. Indeed, we're going to read some books, so excerpts from books. So looking forward to this, looking forward to this. What are your thoughts regarding cryptocurrencies? Um, Pri private currencies uh Roma. salutations on rumble we got chatter going on rumble as well awesome uh salute on the rumble chat right <laughs> anthony mccormick on uh censor to chicho my god um what's good baby books excerpts reading excerpts from books reading excerpts from books temporary piece on twitch is saying canada real estate market is like the movie in 2012 right the mind calendar is coming up <laughs> pure apocalypse right gang uh for those of you that might have not seen what we did yesterday let's get it the housing market sucks right now uh zoot <laughs> not zoot <laughs> yeah it is zoot oh man i forget too many too many chit chats going on uh, da, 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 da. uh your voice alone is asmr cutie thank you thank you zoot hope everybody's doing well and salute to the mods we get looks like we got like four mods happening on uh, uh twitch gang uh, we love our book readings we love our book readings mm. oh no i left my snack on the counter I, I was too busy trying to set up the sensor tube, sensor tube uh, chat going on, and I'm all tied in now, so it's going to be difficult for me to get up. Uh, but my snacks, oh, where is my snack? <laughs> was grapes. I washed my grapes. I was eating some grapes, uh, like yummy. Uh, I left it over there. Should I go get it? No, no, no. It's okay. We got we got our tequila. We'll do fine with this. Hello from Sweden uh kunjen one two three one salutations to sweden hope you guys are doing well salute salute horny oh there's a cold in the mines of moria <laughs> anthony's saying uk housing market is like smog hoarding smoog smog hoarding all his gold in the mines of moria moria that's the dwarf funny 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 
Uh, I have your, your kitty cats grabbed though for you. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Salute. And gang, before we get to it, the most important message we got on this channel, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Salute to Julian, gang. Gang, this is what we're doing. I picked out 21 books, okay, uh, to read excerpts from. I thought it'd be a good idea to start reading, uh, reading more and reading excerpts, okay. And uh, this is day two of our reading live stream. Yesterday, we read excerpts from book six, okay, which was god's equation by amir akzel okay it's about how einstein uh, was able to come up with the theory of general relativity and special relativity or special relativity and general relativity okay it's a great read i read this like 20 years ago more than 20 years ago now um, because i needed to learn <laughs> Why did I read a book? Because it really intrigued me. Uh, and then we read, we lost the number, we lost number 15. And then we read excerpts from the Tao of I Ching, Way to Definition, by Zhou Suang Hua. Huai. Okay. Okay. So this is a great read. I read this around 20 years ago too. So fantastic read. A friend of mine that has been doing tai chi elder god says 19 is next if 19 is next and if it's the quran uh it's going to be trivia it's going to be trivia because 19 is a magic number in there right uh so a friend of mine that specializes in tai chi and qigong and stuff like this those are some of the, the first set of videos i loaded on my sensor tube channel were related to this okay and then we read some excerpts from uh uh complete golden dawn system of magic okay and that was book number 21 so we're gonna pick let me put number 15 up here 15 is wilhelm reichen hell by robert anton wilson okay so slick mick how are you doing 99 hey chicho i know it probably won't be uh featured in this stream but i recently rewatched your video where you speak about harry um uh, harry uh krishnamurti's yeah krishnamurti's education and significance of life uh and was so blown away that i found a copy and read it all in one sitting amazing stuff amazing stuff amazing stuff gang must read for everyone Krishnamurti's Education and the Significance of Life. Read it. It's a quick read. It could be a quick read. <laughs> I think I might have read it the first time I read it uh, in one sitting. I might have read it in two sittings the first time because I had to digest the information. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. And I'm glad you enjoyed a slick mic. Very important. Very important book uh, for humanity, really. Right? Um, so gang, we got the numbers put in a hat. And what we're going to do is we are going to pick a number out of this and have a read through it. Okay. And tally before we get into the reading, we got eight people watching on Rumble. Salute to Rumble gang we got we got 11 people watching on sensor tube salute to sensor tube gang concealing i didn't notify anyone <laughs> not bad and sensor tube doesn't send out notifications and we got 32 people on twitch salute to twitch mm. 
I forgot to do my intro. I gotta do my little intro, gang. Speedy Gonzalez, Speedy Gonzalez. We're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. We're on Gilded. We're on Sensor 2, Pitchute, Rumble, Odyssey. We're live streaming right now on Twitch, Rumble, and Sensor 2. <laughs> yeah. uh, we are recording on a lapel mic, and this audio will go on SoundCloud.com as a podcast. Uh, we're on Twitter, we're on Minds, we're on gap we're on vk we're on getter we're in stop stack notes for everyone that's supporting this work gang salute 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 thank you for the support thank you for being here i hope you're enjoying the content cheers gang let me bring up my chat for rumble and sensor tube okay Average home price in the U.S. is forty-eight thousand. It's way too high. Ramos tequila makes me get nude. Only booze that does that to me. Ooh, could be exciting. <laughs> the cats remind me to do my intro. Deverick, salute from Rumble. Welcome to our live stream. Kaiser says we're gonna pick uh, number three on uh, sensor tube I gotta close these guys down and bring up the chat again every time I do that I lose the chat on rumble and sensor tube gang we're gonna pick a number we're gonna pick a number if you want to know what number three is the CS Lewis screw tape letters I would love to read some of this I would love to read some of this okay uh, Cheryl says uh, 40 Four hundred fifty thousand k, I think, uh, they meant. Not for oh, did I say forty five? Mom, uh, uh, apologies. Uh, Romas on Rumble is saying uh, average home price in U.S. is four hundred eighty thousand k. Okay, and I believe that's right because uh, Wolf Street uh, is providing some of that data, and I follow his work. Uh, in Canada, it's more. It's insane. Aldegas nineteen nineteen nineteen. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Number five. Number five. No one wins except everybody because we're going to read number five. Who? What is number five? Ooh, snap, crackle, pop. Snap, crackle, pop. Gang. Dragon Wing. The first book of a seven series of the death gate cycle the death gate cycle this is an amazing an amazing fantasy series amazing right i was about to say i enjoyed this more than lord of the rings um, but i would put it at par with lord of the rings right number five is alive and this is volume one again okay what a read what a read uh, highly recommend if you like fantasy um i recommend this before i recommend lord of the rings to people because Right. and these are the original ones we got actually i believe i have a heart uh, what do you call it uh, uh the, 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 the hard back hard back. Uh, this is a soft back and hard cover copy of this as well uh if i recall correctly three of the books out of the seven i have a hard cover uh for them okay so as far as the page goes gang where should we start reading where should we start reading any page numbers you guys are uh, uh, really attached to that you want to read there is it goes from page one all the way to all the way to page hey where's the page numbers here oh that's the desk case all the way to page 400 430 we shouldn't go all the way to the end because you know it's uh it's, you don't want to give any too many spoilers we could read something in the middle dancing vital visual says page 42 sure right at the beginning let's do it page 42 
we're going to start at page 42. Let's see what chapter that is. Oh, nice. Oh, page 41 is chapter 6. Page 41 is chapter 6. Kerr Mon uh, Monastery, Volcaran Isles, Mid Realm. Okay. So let's see. Page 42. Wow, we can't read all the way to the end. It goes to page 51. It's 10 pages uh, yeah that might be a little too much but we'll try to uh, make sure we stop at a good spot okay lark bark how are you doing on sensor tube yeah you're back on youtube sense and what's happening buddy reading books reading books reading books reading books okay let's check this out gang i'm not going to keep track of the chat i hope you guys enjoy the reading and uh, what we're going to do right now is read, uh, start reading chapter six. Okay. Kerr Monastery, Volcaran Isles, Mid Realm, page 41. Okay. Boop. Of the first book in a seven series uh, fantasy. Uh, masterpiece uh, from the death gate cycle and book one is called dragon wing right from by margaret wise and tracy hickman okay kerr monastery volk volk volkaren isles mid realm but you frowned you seemed angry, I assumed. That I was feeling squeamish about butchering a small child. It is this privilege to die an innocent child and escape the evil to which mankind is heir. The words came to him from the past. It was this dark and chill room, the cracked stone walls that brought the memory back to him. Hugh Hugh drove it down into the depths of his mind. Sorry, he'd recalled recalled it. A worn, warming blaze burnt in the fire pit. He lifted a coal with the tongues and held it to the bowel of a pipe. The magus had produced from a pack lying on the floor. Stephen, it seemed, had thought of everything. A few puffs and the Stereo go, stereo go, uh, glowed and old memories faded. And a footnote with, with stereo go. I'm going to read the footnotes as well, by the way. Stereo go is a fungus found in the Isle of Titan. Humans of that land have long used crushed stereo go as a healing balm. Elven explorers during the first expansion noticed that the slow burning pungent stereoko was far superior to their own pipe thorn plant and was less expensive to grow they transported it to their own plantations but there's a apparently something special about titan no other variety can match the original in flavor and aroma quote the frown was for myself because I'd made a mistake. I'd misjudged something. The sort of mistake can be costly. I would be interested to know, however, what a kid that age could have done to learn to earn an early death. One might say he was born, answered Tryon, seemingly before he thought because he cast Hugh a swift, furtive glance to see if he'd heard. There was a very little, there was, there was very little the assassin missed. Hugh paused, the hot coal held over the smoking bowl and sta stared qu quizzically at the wizard. Tryon flushed. You are being paid well enough not to ask questions, he, he roared 
re retorted. In fact, here is your money. Fumbling, fumbling in a purse that hung at his side, he produced a handful of coins and counted out 5,100 bar pieces. I trust the king's marker will be sufficient. Try and held it out, held it out. Hugh, raising an eyebrow, tossed the coal back into the fire. Only if I can collect on it. Puffing on the pipe to keep it lit, the hand accepted the money and inspected it carefully. The coins were genuine, uh, all right. A water bar barrel was tapped on the f on the front. A likeliness, though not a good one, of Stephen's head adorned the back. In a realm where most things were obtained by either barter or stealing, the king himself was a notorious pirate whose ravages uh, committed among the elven shipping had helped him win his throne. The double barrel coin, is a, as it was called, was rarely seen, much less used. Its value was exchangeable in the precious commodity, water. Water was scarce in the mid-realm. Rain fell infrequently and, when it did fall, was immediately soaked up and retained by the porous coralite. No rivers or streams ran through the coralite isles. Various plant life growing there trapped water. The cultivation of crystal trees and cup, plant, uh, cup plants was an expensive Labor, laborious means of obtaining the precious liquid but it was the main source other than stealing from the elves of water for the human humans of the mid realm this job would make hugh hugh's fortune he would never have to work again if he chose and all for killing one little kid there's a footnote for number two referring to mid realm there is an abundance abundance of water in the lower realm those isles in the heart of a perpetual storm known as the male storm but no dragon has yet been found who will fly into the male storm the elves with their magical mechanical dragon ships are able to sail the storm tossed route and frequently hold a ver um, virtual monopoly on water the prices the elves charge when they they'll sell it to humans at all are exorbitant therefore the rating of elven transport ships and of water storage ports is not only financially lucrative for humans it is a matter of life or death it didn't make sense hugh balanced the coins in his hand and stood looking at the wizard very well i suppose you must know something try and admit it reluctantly you are of course familiar with the current situation between volcaran and eulandia no on a small table stood a pitcher a large bowl a mug tossing the money in the table the assassin lifted the water jug and poured its contents into the mug tasted it critically low realm stuff not bad water for drinking and washing you must at least appear to be a nobleman returned tryan irritably in in looks and smell and what do you mean you know nothing of politics casting off his cloak hugh learned a uh, leaned over the bowl and plunged his face into the water late leaving it over his shoulders he picked up a bar of lye soap and began to scrub his skin wincing slightly when the lather stung the raw flesh marks on his back you spent two days in your Ur urini prison and see how you smell as for politics they have nothing to do with my business beyond providing the occasional customer or two i didn't even know for certain stephen had a son 
Well, he does, the wizard's voice was cold. And he also has a wife. It is no secret that their marriage is strictly one of convenience to keep their two powerful nations from going for each other's throats and leaving us at the mercy of the elves. The lady would like very much, however, to have power consolidated in her hands. The crown of Valkaren cannot be passed on to a female and the only way Anne can take control is through her son. We recently discovered her plot. My king barely escaped with his life this time. We fear he would not, he, he would not, not annexed. And so you get rid of the kid. That solves your problem, I guess, but leaves your king without an heir. Pipe clamped firmly between his teeth hugh stripped off his pants and splashed water abundantly over his naked body tryon turned his back either from from modesty or perhaps sickened by the sight of numerous wells and battle scars some flesh that marred the assassin's skin stephen is not a fool the problem is being resolved when we declare war upon Aristogon, the nations will unite, including the queen's own. During the war, Stephen will divorce Anne and marry a woman of Volcaren. Fortunately, his majesty is of an age that he can still father children, many children. The war will force the nations to remain united despite Anne's divorce. By the time peace comes, if ever, Yolandia will be too weakened to depend, too dependent on Stephen to break the ties. Very clever, Hugh conceded, tossing the towel aside. He drank two mugs of the cool, sweet-tasting, low round water, then relieved himself in a chamber pot in a corner. Refreshed, he began to look over the various articles of clothing that were folded neatly upon a cot and what's what'll make the elves go to war they've got their own problems i thought you knew nothing of politics muttered tryan cautiously the cause of war will be the death of the prince ah he drew on the underclothing and the thick woolen hose all very neat and tidy that's why you must trust the deed to me rather than handle it yourself with a few magics in the castle yes tryan's voice broke on the word he nearly choked the hand paused in the act of drawing a shirt on over his head to give the magus a sharp glance the wizard kept his back turned however hugh's eyes narrowed laying the pipe aside he continued to dress himself but more slowly paying keen attention to every nuance of the wizard's words and tone the child's body must be found by our people in arestagon not a difficult task when the word goes forth that the prince has been taken captive by the elves there will be raiding parties sent to look for him I will provide you with a list of locations. We understand you have a dragon ship. Of Alvin make and design, isn't that convenient? He responded. You have this well thought out, didn't you? Even to the point of framing me for Lord Rogan's murder. Hugh pulled on a velvet doublet, black, braid, braided in gold. A sword lay on the bed. Picking it up, examining it critically, Hugh slid the blade into the sheath and tested it with a quick, deft flick of his wrist. Satisfied, he replaced the blade and buckled the sword belt around his waist. He slipped his dagger into the top of his boot. And not only framing me for murder, maybe committing the murder as well no tryon turned to face him the house wizard murdered his lord as you i gather have already guessed 
we were on the watch and merely took advantage of the situation your dagger was appropriate and substituted for the one in the body the word was whispered to that night friend of yours to the effect that you were in the neighborhood you let me lay my head on the blood slimmed stone let me see that maniac standing above me with his dull sword and then you save my life and think that fear alone will buy me it would have not it would it would have another man with you i had my doubts and as you may have gathered i had already expressed them to stephen so i take the kid to aristagon murder him leave the body for the grieving father to find who then shakes his fist and vows vengeance on the elves and all humankind marches off to war won't it occur to someone that the elves aren't really that stupid they don't need war with us right now this rebellion of theirs is serious business you seem to know more about the elves than you do your own people some might find that interesting some might who don't know what i have to what i have to have my ship overhauled by elven shipbuilders and that its magic must be renewed by elven wizards so you trade with the enemy he shrugged in my business everyone's an enemy tryon licked his lips the discussion was obviously leaving a bitter taste in his mouth but that's what happens thought hugh when you drink with kings the elves have been known to capture humans and taunt us by leaving the bodies where they may easily be discovered tryon said in a low voice you should arrange matters so that it appears i know how to arrange matters hugh placed his hand on the wizard's shoulder and had the satisfaction of feeling the young man flinch i know my business reaching down he picked up the coins steadied them again then dropped two into a small inner pocket of the doublet the remainder he tucked away carefully into his money pouch and stored that in a pack speaking of business how will i contact you for the rest of my pay and what what assurances do i have that i'll find it and not a feather shaft feathered shaft in my ribs when i return you have you have our word the word of a king as for the feather shaft now it was tryon tryon who experienced satisfaction i assume you can take care of yourself i can said hugh remember that a threat tryon sneered a promise and now said the hand cooling we'd best get going we'll need to do our traveling by night the dragon will take you to your ship ship is moved and then return and tell you the location he raised an eyebrow no you have our word he smiled the word of a man who hires me to murder his child the young wizard flushed in anger do not judge me you cannot understand biting his tongue he silenced himself understand what he flashed him a sharp narrow-eyed glance nothing you said yourself you have no interest in politics tryon swallowed believe what you want of us it makes little difference hugh eyed him speculatively decided that no more information would be forthcoming tell me where you are and i will find my way from there impossible this fortress is secret we worked many years to make it a safe retreat for his majesty ah but you have my word you mocked it seems we're at an impasse tryon flushed again his teeth clenched over his lips so tightly that when at, when at last he spoke he could see white marks upon his flesh upon the flesh what of this you provide me with a general location say the name of an isle 
I'll instruct the dragon to take you and the prince to a town on that isle and leave you. That's the best I can do. He considered this, then nodded in agreement, knocking the ashes from the pipe. He tucked, tucked the long curved stem with a small rounded bowl into the pack and inspected the remainder of the pack's contents. He eventually approved what he saw, for he sin sensed it tightly, cinched it tightly. The prince carries his own food and clothing, enough for, Tryan faltered, but forced the words out, for a, uh, a month. It shouldn't take that long, said the hand easily, throwing the fur cloak over his shoulders. Depending on how close this town is to where we're bound, I can hire dragons. The prince must must not be seen. There are few who know him outside of the court, but if by chance they were recognized, relax. I know what I'm doing, Hugh said softly, but there was a warning in the black eyes that the wizard thought best to heed. Hugh heft the pack and a and started for the door movement glimpse from the corner of an eye drew his attention outside in the courtyard he saw the king's executioners bow in apparent response to some unheard command and then quit his post the block alone remained standing in the courtyard it gleamed with a white light strangely inviting in its coldness and purity and promise of escape the hand paused it was as if he felt for a brief instant the invisible filament cast out by fate wrap itself around his neck it was tugging him away dragging him on entangling him in the same vast web in which tryon and the king were already struggling let's end it there i was going to continue i'm getting into this <laughs> let's end it there let's end it there there was only about four pages to go but we need time to read more right because i could keep on reading this this is amazing i haven't read this forever right it's a beautiful read it's a beautiful read so many characters and that was chapter that was most of chapter six the first we read up to page 47 so page 41 to 47 chapter six of the first volume of the death gate cycle dragon wing by margaret wise and tracy hickman okay fantastic 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 Number 13 dropping. Oh, number 15 dropping again. Fun, fun. Dancing with my pleasure, my pleasure dancing vigil. Sundas, this is relaxing, really relaxing. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying on uh, Sensor Tube. Romas on uh, uh, Rumble Dragon Wing. I'll have to read these. If you do come to Gilded, let me know what you think. Uh, some people consider it to be one of the greatest fantasy uh, masterpieces ever. Uh, I am one of those people. I consider it to be a masterpiece. <laughs> Elder gods in <laughs> sweaty at time dancing vigil gang focus on your numbers focus on your numbers i'm gonna have a sip how are we doing for time we're doing good on time we're doing good on time i hope you guys are having a fantastic fantastic day lark bark i really enjoy hearing you read uh, just so you know gang uh 
for anyone that uh, that really thinks they're incapable of doing something right i was one of those people that could not read aloud and could never read in public in class including university when we had to read something or go up in front of class and read something i would shake i would get the sweats i would stutter like i sounded like a like an eight-year-old reading something right and one thing i did was after working as a geophysicist for 10 years and getting my honors degree and all this stuff in my 30s i realized that i was illiterate so i really focused on teaching myself how to read properly okay uh so if you, if you find an obstacle if you find something that you fear face it challenge yourself right mike hill lie, uh, lie. chicho on sensor tube is this a prank <laughs> i was forced into it elder god was pushing me hard <laughs> elder god was pushing me hard uh, Romas, have you read The Talisman? No, I haven't. Peter Straub and Stephen King, my favorite book. No, I haven't read that. I haven't read it. I haven't read it. Oh, Face Your Fears of Spiders, Sundas, on Sensor 2. Yeah. Okay, I'll face it. Uh, my anxiety is insane when I have to read in public. M Miss Balloon Hands, I'm not kidding you. When I would have to read, I would sh like shake <laughs> I would sweat one time at university this is university second year university I failed my first year English and I had to take it again at a different university we had to go up in front of class there was only like 10 people in class I got up I had to read something an essay I'd written I went up and I didn't look at anyone started reading and i was foolish enough to look up and i was reading like st stuttering and stuff i looked up and i saw eight people nine people looking at me and they all had look like and i started getting dizzy okay i'm telling you face your fears it will make you a stronger human being uh, it was brilliant uh not that wasn't brilliant but it's brilliant I'm crying as Bloom says I cry. Really, I, I was soaked. I was soaked. I was sweating so hard. People thought I was having a heart attack. Have you ever seen the movie? Um, it's a newscast movie, and they bring in this newscaster, and he's doing his presentation, newscasting, and he's sweating like crazy. I forget what it's called. Uh, but I was like that. Gang, let's pick another book. Let's pick another book. Let's pick another book. A few hundred elder god let's pick another book everyone got their number finished dude how are you doing on twitch elder god's got number 19. <laughs> we're picking it we're picking it three is magic number uh eduardo we just read number five <laughs> hilarious we're picking number number seven number seven we're gonna read number seven. What is number seven? Gore Vidal, perpetual war for perpetual peace. We just read something about war, right? Fantasy, right? We're about to read the real thing in our life, right? Platonic Pluris, yay! Platonic <laughs> Pluris seven, finished dude with seven. Nice. <laughs> Two people win. Uh, finished dude and Platonic Pluralist right so let's do a little count since we're streaming on three different platforms because why not let's check it out because why not we got what do we got we got 23 on twitch salute to gang on twitch we got we got we got nine on rumble salute gang on rumble we got we got we got 14 on sensor tube salute gang on sensor tube ah, 
now let's get to business let's get to business perpetual war for perpetual peace I know what we should read gang we should read I believe if I recall correctly Timothy Gore Vidal published Timothy McVeigh's full letter let me make sure this is where I read it if that's the case If that's the case, um, maybe we're going to read that. Oh man, where would this be? Okay, where's my table of contents here? Fallout the new. doesn't have it highlighted here maybe I didn't read it here this is a crappy table of contents I'm just flipping through it I might have read Timothy McVeigh's letter line okay I don't know if it's here or not oh maybe this is it McVeigh also sent me a 19 oh no he's got multiple correspondence with Timothy McVeigh um, okay gang Oh no, here it is. Oh, here it is. Nice. 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 Um, unfortunately, I think uh, Gore Vidal broke this up. McVeigh also sent me a 19 uh, sent me a 1998 piece he had written for media bypass he calls it essay on hypocrisy uh, and then finally McVeigh sent me three pages of a longhand notes dated April 4th 2001 a few weeks okay no these are gonna be okay let's stick with our plan Timothy McVeigh actually wrote a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so, should we do a page reading? Hi, Pita, how are you doing on oh, Twitch? Tim's Bill of Rights. Neither speech, press, religion, or assembly shall be. Okay, you know what? Gang, let me read you. Here's a page and a half of Timothy McVeigh's writing and I'm gonna read you I want to read you Gore Vidal how he became interested in Timothy McVeigh the beginning part of it uh, okay where is it page 43 Apologies if I'm taking over this one because Bill of Rights, uh, Elegas says Bill of Rights definitely isn't censor too friendly. No, you don't think so? Should we 
do it. Okay. Let's do this. Again, Aldegon, I'm going to read it. It's important. But I'm going to read it after reading a few pages from here. Okay. Uh, John Zook, you didn't get a notification. Yeah, Sensor 2, we're, we're uh, blacklisted. Uh, shadow ban on Sensor 2, uh, John Zook. So, you know, some people have said, most people have said they don't get notifications for my content, uh, my videos. And this is the first time we're live streaming on Sensor 2. Uh, but uh, I've had a couple of people say they do get notifications, but I don't know if that's for real or not. So uh, from now on, I'll announce it, okay? So gang, uh, our second book reading, book warehouse, nice, a little book thing. Uh, our second book reading for day two of reading, which is basically our fifth book reading that we're gonna do. We're gonna read a few pages from Gore Vidal, Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace, How We Came to Be So Hated. Okay, very important read as far as I'm concerned. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to read a page, about three pages, uh, starting on page 45, okay, page 45, of how I became interested in Timothy McVeigh and vice versa, because Gore Vidal corresponded with Timothy McVeigh, and... Uh, Timothy McVeigh was a very important uh, figure in American politics. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to read these three pages, and then we're going to read a page and a half of Timoth Timothy McVeigh's written text of Tim's Bill of Rights. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see what happens on sensor tube as well okay so Gore Vidal perpetual war for perpetual peace page 43 I became interested in Timothy McVeigh and vice versa once we meditate upon the unremitting violence of the United States against the rest of the world while relying upon pretexts that for sheer flimsical flimsiness might have even even given Hitler pause when justifying some of his most bourgeois lies. One begins to understand why Osama struck at us from aboard abroad in the name of one billion Muslims whom we have encouraged through our own preemptive acts of war as we as relentless demonization of them through media to regard us in how shall i put it less than an ambient light in the five years pre previous to dark tuesday i had i had i had got to know the mcveigh case pretty well in the five decades previous to that as an enlisted soldier in world war ii as well as a narrator of our imperial history i think of always had an up-close view of the death struggle between the american republic whose defender i am and the american global empire our old republic's enemy osama provoked provoked struck at us from afar mcveigh provoked struck struck at us from within on april 19 1995 each was enraged by our government's reckless assault upon other societies as we pursued what a great American historian has called perpetual war for perpetual peace. I must admit that, at first, I was not very interested in the bombing of the Mur Mur Mura build federal building in Oklahoma City because the media had so quickly and thoroughly attributed this crime, crime to that stock American villain, the lone crazed killer, and acts, out, and acts of mad madmen are only interesting to the morbidly inclined. Also, wise Henry James had always warned writers 
against the use of a mad person as central to a narrative on the ground that as he was not morally responsible, there was no true tale to tell. It was Oklahoma City that first caught my interest. It was such an unlikely place for such an astonishing to happen. In 1907, my grandfather, Thomas Pryor Gore, brought the state into the Union. He was also elected uh, its first senator and served until 1937. I spent my first 10 years in his house in Rock Creek Park, Washington, D.C., reading to him. He was behind blind from childhood. I was brought up surrounded by the founders of a state that was sometimes known as the belt buckle of the Bible belt. Ironically, my grandfather was an atheist, a well-kept secret back home. Also, at the time of the First World War, Oklahoma was a base simultaneously for the Ku Klux Klan and for the Socialist Party, plainly an eclectic gathering place. When the Muir Building was destroyed, I re misread the name as Murray after Alfalfa Bill Murray, the state's first governor who wrote a history of the world without as uh, without it was said ever leaving the state or cracking a book in a dis desultory way i began to follow the trail of mcveigh the font uh, the font of received wisdom the new york times true to his own great tradition found him guilty from the start perhaps they were for once i foolishly thought acting in good faith but as the story unfolded it got more and more incredible finally we were invited to believe that a single slight youth with possible help from a john doe never found by the fbi and an elusive equally slight co-conspirator concocted a fairly complex bomb single-handedly loaded several thousand pounds of it onto a rider truck drove it to the mirror mirror federal building without blowing himself up northern ireland is littered with the remains of ira bombers who frequented rough roads with similar bombs and then detonated it next to a next to a mini windowed building on a bright morning unseen this all defied reason once found guilty however mcveigh said that he had done it all alone to avenge the government slaughter of a religious cult at waco texas in a short statement to the court before sentence was passed he quoted supreme court justice brandis brandis's magnificent dissent in olmstead yeah. this caught my attention brandis was warning government that it was the teacher of the nation and when government broke laws it set an example that could lead only to uh, in imitation and anarchy meanwhile concerned by the airy way that various departments of our government were tidily cleaning away the bill of rights corner by corner as it were i wrote the following report for the for the variety fair issue of november 1998 which mcveigh by then on death row in colorado read and then wrote me a letter thus began our correspondence which culminated in his invitation for me to witness as his guest his execution by lethal injection i said i would here is the piece he read in prison Oh, so this is the McVeigh, the next part he gets into. No, let's not read this because so this is goes up to page 49 is what Timothy McVeigh wrote. 
but I and it's a long piece so I don't want to I don't want to break it I really don't but what I want to do is read so if you want to read it sh sh uh, shredding the Bill of Rights okay but what I want to do is read Timothy McVeigh's Oh, I lost the place where it was at. Tim's Bill of Rights. Okay, so we're going to skip to page 133. Okay. And what we're going to do, and it's just two and a half pages. Okay, two and a half pages. And we're going to read uh, Tim's Bill of Rights from reprinted in Gore Vidal's Perpetual War for Perpetual Peace. And one thing I should note here, the corporate media in the United States and the Western world never ever, if I recall correctly, printed anything that Timothy McVeigh had to say. They crucified him, persecuted him, demonized him, called him a lunatic, even before he was convicted, right? Before any evidence was given. Uh, okay so one of the reasons Gore Vidal wrote this book is because he he believed it was important that Timothy McVeigh's words were shared to prove that he wasn't a lunatic and there was a reason why he did or he did what he did okay Tim's bill of rights one neither speech press religion nor assembly shall be infringed nor shall such be forced upon any person by the government of the united states two there shall be no standing military force during peacetime this to include large bodies of federal law enforcers or coalitions of these officers that would constitute a military force with the exception of sea-based maritime forces three the executive office shall hold no power to unilaterally alter constitutional rights four no person shall be subjected to any form of direct taxation or wage withholding by the federal government five no person's life or liberty shall be taken without due process any government employee circumventing due process rights shall be punished with imprisonment citizens shall not be subjected to invasion of their homes or property by employees of federal government property or other assets of united states citizens shall not be subject to forfeiture to the federal government six personal activities that do not infringe upon the rights or property of another shall not be charged prosecuted or punished by the united states government any crime alleged will be prosecuted by the ju jurisdiction most local to the alleged crime respectively no person shall be twice tried for an offense alleged and adjudicated in another jurisdiction no person shall be subjected to cruel or unusual punishment nor shall shall the federal government hold power to execute any individual as punishment for a crime convicted or contract to another entity for this purpose no person shall be held to account for the actions of another unless proven by more than one witness to be the principal figure seven all currency sh currency shall be redeemable in a globally recognized material of intrinsic value such as silver eight legislative members shall earn no more than twice the current poverty level and shall not be subject to any additional pay bonuses rewards gifts entitlements or other such privileges as holding such office is meant to serve the people and should not be looked upon as a capital capitalist career opportunity nine 
where non-violent checks and balances fail to remedy government abuse or tyranny, the common people reserve the right to rebellion. Inherent with this right, the common people maintain the absolute right to own and possess those weapons which are used by any level of government for domestic pol policing. 10. Any rights not enumerated here belong inherently to the people or the state respectively and shall not be assumed by omission to be delegated to the ju jurisdiction of the federal government timothy mcveigh may 28 2001 okay every american as far as i'm concerned needs to read this book if you're a citizen of the united states of america do yourself a favor read this book gore vidal perpetual war for perpetual peace how we got to be so hated and it's not just about how we got to be so hated by outside powers there is a lot of meaning to this book a lot of history a lot of important words it's a quick read okay i'm glad we got this i'm glad we picked this book or the hat picked this book okay let's put this guy back we got a great selection of books here gang i'm just gonna get caught up with the chat speedy gonzalez style holiday statistic salutations on rumble crummy vcr chicho much love brother lot to love right back vcr hope you're doing well definitely a case study definitely a case study lark Brock says on sensor two what is the name again sorry the name again is perpetual war for perpetual peace by gore vidal okay and gore vidal uh, was a writer was a historian he was um, from the Al Gore family like one of the it's like the Clinton you know the Bushes not the Clintons but the fucking Bushes right uh, from like the Clinton family is very much connected with the Clintons and uh, not Clintons uh, the Kennedy family Clintons are vomit inducing uh, Ken whatever families the, the, the oligarchy right he was gay and he lived in Italy he I, I believe he passed away in Italy with his uh, I forget what year it was that he passed away um, great writer and he really critiqued uh, American foreign policy oh, okay thank you well uh, my pleasure uh, miss balloon hands my pleasure okay salute gang how are we doing for time die 2012 thank you very much dancing vigil thank you very much and i believe he died in italy okay i believe he died in italy gang we can do one more reading you got your numbers picked you got your numbers picked uh it's tequila uh vcr it's tequila espolon you got your numbers picked you got your numbers picked I hope you put all the most dangerous superstition. You got five. Miss Balloon says number four. Did we just read number five? We read number five. We read number five. Eldegaz 19. He's sticking with his gun. Controller Zen, how are you doing? 17. Controller Zen says Plutonic Pluris is going 13. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, okay. Miss Balloon says six. Ah, oh, we've already read number six. We're picking 15 everybody loses everybody loses <laughs> we got two people on uh, uh sensor two vcr said seven sunda said two right we got number 15 we got numbers 15. <laughs> what's number 15. oh snap crackle 
top. What a crazy read, gang. Robert Anton Wilson, Wilhelm Reichenhall. This is a musical that Robert Anton Wilson wrote regarding the persecution, the crucifying of Wilhelm Reich. And if you don't know who Wilhelm Reich is, okay, I'll give you just one bit of information regarding Wilhelm Reich. He's the only one that I am aware of that both Nazi Germany and the U.S. government burned his books. Very important context, very important context, considering that just two, three days ago, the entire cabinet, the entire federal government in Canada gave a standing ovation to a Nazi SS soldier that served in World War II that fought against Russia, the Soviet Union. If, if that didn't register properly, let me say that again. The Canadian government, two, three days ago, every member of parliament, okay, stood up and gave a standing ovation to a World War II Nazi SS soldier. Not only that, during that meeting, during this, this week, the Canadian government gave an additional $650 million to Ukraine totaling the total contribution that the United States has given to Ukraine of nine billion dollars and who did they applaud Nazi Germany right full-on SS Nazis and Wilhelm Reich's books Nazi Germany burned as well as the United States burned his books and this is Robert Anton Wilson writing a musical and the musical is available on censor tube. You can watch it. Okay. About the persecution of Wilhelm Reich by the state. Once you wrap your head around what this little intro that I gave you about this, you should be scratching your head and going, what the F, right? What the F? Solid choice, crummy VCR says. That's just Eduardo, that's just normal Canadian government behavior. Not shocking, not shocking. Plutonic plurus, the history of Ukraine World War II is complicated, but they now they seem to salute everything anti right Crazy. Nine billion dollars and the entire cabin, the entire government. The federal government of Canada stood up and gave a standing ovation to an SS agent, former SS soldier. Now, their battalion was responsible for murdering Jews, Poles, Russians, Roma people, Slovaks, running concert. As far as I'm concerned, every m member of parliament in Canada that stood up and gave a standing ovation to an SS soldier, they all have to resign. But we say too much, we need to read a book. What page should we start? And by the way, just to, just to put things into context, Zelensky, went to the United States before he came to Canada. And in the United States, I believe this time around, they only gave him 300 million. The United States has 10 times the population of Canada and Zelensky came to Canada and Canada gave him 650 million. So we doubled, more than doubled what the United States gave Ukraine with only 10% of the population. You should come to my city, see the homeless here. 
What page should we read, gang? What page should we read? Plutonic Polaris. There are different documentaries about Wilhelm Reich, like this strange case of Wilhelm Reich and who is uh, afraid of uh, Wilhelm Reich. Yeah, page 72, Controller Zen says, page 72 it is. And uh, where's my book? I've read almost the entire book. I stopped reading it for some reason. Uh, most of the book, uh, Wilhelm Reich, Wilhelm Reich. I wish I brought it down. Where is that book? Oh, I can't reach it. It's way up there. Um, Wilhelm Reich wrote a book called The Philosophy of Fascism. All right? Good book. Elder God um, is saying, The Speaker of Canada's House of Commons has apologized for praising an individual who served in a Nazi unit during World War II in a session attended by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and visiting Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Speaker Anthony Rota recognized Yaroslav Honak, 98, as a Ukrainian hero, a Canadian hero, before the Canadian Parliament on Friday, saying, we thank him for his service. Wrap your head around that. Uh, Flor Floris Child, Churd, Floris, Chur Floris on Censor Tube, says page 33, and we got controller Zen saying, saying page 72. I got some things highlighted here too. Page 33. Beyond true and false, page 72. Let's see, page 72. Ooh, look at this, all the highlighting I've done here. Very nice. I read this book a long time ago. Long time ago. Page 72. Act 1. Act 1. So what's this first part? I barely remember any of this. Yeah, I've highlighted. I've got a lot of notes in this. Hold on, page 33. Let me take page 3, page 72. Let's see what page 72 is. Here's page 72. So, page, uh, so it looks like page 72 is from the musical, and page 33 is notes building up to the musical. So what we're going to do, let's read a little bit from page, starting at page 33, okay? And then read a little bit of the musical starting at page uh, 72. Okay. So, yeah, we'll read. <laughs> yeah, let's read this. <laughs> awesome. Chicho's going, no, Chicho's not going to sing. Chicho's, you can't sing. <laughs> If Ray for singing, I'll try. Oh no, no, I can't promise you that. What man, I used to shake when I used to read out loud. What the f? Page 33 first, page 33 first, right? And thank you very much, uh, Flor Sir Chert, Flor Sir Chert, I don't know how to pronounce that, for popping on. Gang. Oh, holiday statistic. I can't say that. <laughs> Face your fears. Sing it to us, Miss Balloon says. Okay, let's do a little uh, count. We got we got 21 people on SensorTube. Salute to the gang on SensorTube for being here. We got, we got, we got, we got 16 people on Rumble. Salute to the gang on Rumble. And we got and we got 38 on Twitch. Salute to everyone on Twitch. This is fun. <laughs> okay, gang. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, by the way, my name is per pronounced Flowers Child. Churd. Churd? Child. Flowers Churd. What's a churd? <laughs> Thank you very much, Flowers Churd. Okay, gang. We're going to read two different sections from Robert Anton Wilson's Wilhelm Reich in Hell. Okay. And uh, I forgot to read when those books were put out, uh, the previous books, but this was uh, put out in 1995. No, the 1995, I guess. Or this is the 1990. No, 19. This is the 19. 95 edition it's a third printing and it was put out in uh, 
first printing was 1987. Okay, I need to get a first printing of this thing. And we're going to read page 33. There's like three pages we're going to read here. Okay. And then we're going to go to page uh, 72, which is part of the musical. Okay. And this is a musical about the persecution of Wilhelm Reich. The murder of Christ as uh, Wilhelm Reich, Robert Anton Wilson have stated. Page 33. Let me get comfortable here. Let me get comfortable here. And gang, before we read, let's give it our little message. Do not forget, do not forget, because this is very much related to the persecution of Julian Assange. So free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies salute to julian assange gang for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available on free speech platforms salute adam on sensor tube page 33 of robert anton wilson's welcome wilhelm reichen hell Beyond true and false, Nietzsche scandalized and terrified the Orthodox a hundred years ago by saying the next step in philosophy would take us beyond good and evil. I increasingly suspect that the next step in science, the new paradigm, will take us beyond true and false. I wonder how much scandal and terror that idea will create. I have already spoken of Reich's hypothetical organ as not necessar necessarily a concrete thing, but a kind of heightened perception. Another word for, quote, kind of perception, end quote, is of course gloss, the term for uh, sociology and anthropomethodology, which I have already used many times, a gloss, a model, a reality tunnel, a way of sensing and organizing the world is, it seems to me, always a human product and always relative to the humans who created it and their concrete situation in space-time. If we turn to the psychology of knowledge and try to use it impartially and not as a weapon to invalidate opponents, it is possible to consider some glosses as meta-glosses or glosses of glosses marxism for instance is a meta gloss which glosses other glosses in terms of the economic factors acting upon the persons or group who create them the freudian and even more the reikian system are also meta glosses in this sense they attempt to they attempt to explain why certain glosses are popular with certain people a good deal of radical feminism is a very proactive meta-gloss, telling us how the glosses of the last 6,000 years of male-dominated history look from a non-male perspective. <laughs> That's the kitty cat. If we apply meta-glosses not just to glosses, but to other meta-glosses, we will, of course, create strange loops. But I think these these will be fruitful, like the strange loops of Zen logic and box music, rather than pathological, like the strange loops of schizophrenia. In building metaglosses of metaglosses, we will find ourselves, I think, wandering out of the search for the for the one correct reality tunnel into an on ontological anthropological study on com of comparative reality labyrinths. Concretely, the Marxist anal analysis of Freudian psychology as a middle class gloss can be illuminating rather than merely palmerical or destructive. If we recognize the Freudian middle class gloss need not be entirely false just because it is middle class.
the Freudian analysis of Marxism as an expanded odupious Aud complex can also be enlightening and not merely invalidating if we remember that an odupious Aud complex subliminated into very intelligent sociological analysis can yield valid insights and it is not the same thing as a Udinian complex merely acted as criminal rebellion against the cop as father figure. That is, if we use each gloss to understand rather than to designate other systems of glossing, then each gloss may well have its own lessons to teach us, and we can learn a bit from all of them. Certainly, the feminist analysis of both Fru Fruit and Marx has been a most educational new uh, perspective for our society to acquire. My own philosophical position as regular readers of my damned uh, heresies know by now is a kind of multi-gloss <laughs> agnetism or a metagloss that tries to learn from all other glosses but does not accept any one gloss or metagloss add the one true map of universe. When I am in my existentialist or phenom phenomenologist reality tunnel, all glosses seem equally interesting as data is uh, prime primate psychology but none are as important as real as what is immediately before my senses as the moment what choices i have to make right here and right now when i am in my rickian or non neo rickian reality tunnel it seems overwhelmingly obvious to me that i live among a species that is desperately sick and desperately afraid of the changes and must undergo to be cured when i am in a buddhist reality tunnel the medical metaphor of sickness in reich's system seems as oversimplified as the christian metaphor of sin and i merely see that the human race at this stage of its evolution has the habits inevitable at this stage of evolution that is that it that is is and our evolution of it are simply our evolution of it it is most interesting and amusing to step out out of all the glosses mentioned so far and look things with a ethological ecological or darwinian sociobiological gloss glosses like christian original sin buddhist maya marxist marxist class war rickian emotional plague etc all seem from this biosocial perspective crude primate grunts attempting to articulate the crisscrossing and often tangled genetic vectors in time that make up our evolutionary history to date Domesticate, domesticated primates like wild primates or fish or ants are simply organisms trying to make a suitable habitat of the space-time grid in which they find themselves and they often make mistakes just like any other species when i am in my nietzschean gloss i can contemplate all other glosses as works of art and ask which gloss if any I wish to put my will into and try to impose on the future should i invent my own gloss or pick somebody else's or just contemplate all glosses impartially nietzsche varied between prompting his own gloss evolution towards higher intelligence and sardonic contemplation of the relatively relative relativity of all possible glosses I can also enter other glosses of rea or reality tunnels and learn new perspectives continually. Most readers from this, from this, re most readers think this refers hypothetically to some abstract or ideal I, who should be able to do th these things. 
but I am speaking literally and autobiographically. After 20 odd years of practice of the exercises described in my Cosmic Trigger and Prometheus Rising, I have learned to quantum jump from one reality tunnel to any other reality tunnel. Every novelist and every good psycho psychotherapist learns a bit of this art of self-transformation because it is the only way to understand why other people do the weird things they do. I suggest that such leaps of un ontological empathy may have value for science and philosophy generally and are not just of interest to novelists and other psycho psych psychologists in physics at present there are two meta glosses general relativity and quantum mechanics which diverge from each other in many ways in one sense there they are all they are as different as the novels of jane austen and samuel beckett in another metaphor they are as different as the grammar of english and that of japanese although these systems present us with what seem to be two quite distinct universes physicists are not inclined to throw one out and embrace the other monogram gamelous mono monogamously or monotheistically the general attitude among working physicists is that general relativity is one is one useful model and quantum mechanics is another useful model and as long as they remain useful we might as well use them in quantum mechanics people uh, quantum mechanics itself there are two models of the world inside the atom the wave model and the particle model these do not differ merely in style like english and japanese they contradict each other totally like the statements robin is a boy and robin is a girl <laughs> nonetheless both models are useful and physicists use both at different times without worrying about aristotle's rule that the two contradictory statements cannot function in the same system in art despite the dogmas of a few authorities we have learned that different glosses can be equally valuable even if they are as opposed to each other as the styles of rembrandt and picasso or of van gogh and pollack or of turner and hogarth or even of raphael and hopper in music although beethoven maniacs and mozart cultists rear up and afflict us occasionally we have in general learned to appreciate the various glosses of vivaldi and bach and amadeus and ludwig and wagner and elgar and moeller etc as not being mutually exclusive but as each adding to the richness of our tradition is it possible that we can learn to think of models or world glosses not as true or false in some abstract and absolute absolute sense absolute sense but as the products of humans in concrete situations in space time and all possessing some kind of relative truth for the persons who create them at least and none of them big enough and inclusive enough to contain all the truth Fucking brilliant right love robert anton wilson right brilliant i just get joy from reading him right spencer skirts on sensor tube live on sensor tube i got pushed into it by elder god Elder God comes and Beethoven is great for protest music. Gang, I'm going to read. We're going into the musical. Okay. So we're in, Is I think this is Act 1 still. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Oh, cast of characters. Yeah, we're in Act 1. Okay. Act 1 begins 
at page uh, 48, right? 49. And we're going to read page 72. But I need to find a place, a good starting point. I need to find a good starting point. This just continues. <laughs> and by the way, just so you know, uh, the United States government persecuted Wilhelm Reich, uh, stating that he was uh, trying to uh, provide medical advice and he was pretending to be a doctor or medical uh, heal cancer and heal sickness without a license and without uh, you, you have to look into it I looked into this a long time ago right so basically it was a medical association that was going after Wilhelm Reich through the federal government and they finally zapped him because of uh, mail between states and whatnot Oh my God, look at this. I gotta show you this. Okay, so in the musical, so here, I'll show you. It, this is a discussion between, so in the musical, there's different characters playing, right? So one of the characters playing is that American Medical Association. And I'm gonna show you this. And the person reading this, and saying this is supposed to say it in a let's see if this will focus Disney childish tone right tune right which is basically the way you should take in well I won't say anything uh, just so you know right and then there's chorus mosach mos massage massage right so we're gonna start reading from there page 69 this is a symphony that has already happened. The musical has already begun. We're in a courthouse. The federal government is persecuting Wilhelm Reich, right? Persecuting Wilhelm Reich. The musical notes, <laughs> the musical notes. No, I don't think there's musical. You can go on CensorTube and other free speech platforms and find a musical to this. Okay, I'm going to read actually starting page at the bottom of page 68. Said. We're going to read Said in a uh, recitative, recitative rapidly. How am I going to do this rapidly? His claim that all citizen uh, civilized people suffer to some degree from this alleged emotional plague which tenses the muscles stiffens the breathing and produces such physical symptoms as asthma allergies cancer and a couple of dozen more 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 that he just tacked on together with such mental uh, symptoms as nightmares dizziness insomnia new neurosis and a couple of dozen more that he just tacked on and finally even produces such social social pathological pa pathologies as rape violence continuous war indifferences to suffering in others pauses so pauses finally for breath and a couple of dozen more than he just tacked on Medical Associ uh, American Medals Medical Association in a Disney childish tune. We hate to say it, but he's only but a nut. See him swell and strut. What a silly mutt. We hate to say it, but he's nothing but a nut. Mass massage rises. Massage and sage chorus. See him swell and strut. 
What a silly mutt, American Medical Association. We hate to say it, but he's nothing but a nut. Massage sits, said, recessitive. His claim that the emotional plague and muscles tensions began with organized religion was exasperated by early capitalism and imperialism with the radical myths that invented uh, invented to justify looting other people peoples and has now reached its most virulent form in the modern totalitarianism both so-called capitalism and so-called socialism american medical association replies recessive such are such all embracing condemnations and devil theories all characteristic of the paranoid schizophrenic who always thinks everybody is mad except himself he always thinks everybody is mad except himself said your general conclusion then you considered opinions as licensed experts on the theories and teachings of poor confused and embittered dr wilhelm reich american medical association disney tune again we think his books are bum books silly willies dumb books they're hardly books at all they're anarchist and mad books we think his books are bad books they're hardly books at all say thank you very much your your learned and expert opinions have definitely been of great importance in this sad case ringmaster half dozing what yes most certainly the court appreciates the experts opinions on these uh, learned men and uh, the learned lady and we thank you all for uh, taking time to come here reich replies may i cross-examine ringmaster oh certainly absolutely we intend to maintain the highest standards of civilized law here reich i've noticed that already said unlocks reich's chains from chair reich rises chains dangling from his wrists and clanking reich what is the cause of cancer american medical association at present unknown reich what is the cause of schizophrenia american medical association at present unknown reich unknown two of the major plagues of our time and you haven't the clue american medical association in a disney tune we need more funds for research we need a he and she research we need your quits and pens for work on pure science give us another year or two we'll have results to astonish you Reich that's what you were saying when you killed me the first time in 1957 say objection defendant is making speeches not asking questions ringmaster sustained Reich it has been said that nobody wants war but wars keep on happening why do you suppose that is say objection this is a sociological question and not and our experts are medical doctors reich they are learned persons their opinions will be of value ringmaster in this case i would like an answer for the record objection overruled reich well why do wars keep happening first male singer the politicians are to blame second male singer 
is the international banking game. Third male singer. The generals and their quest for fame. Female singer. No, no, no. It's one of nature's nasty tricks. Biological politics. The genetic drive for territory. That's the universe's universal story. Hired liars call it glory. Pacifists complain it's gory. But it's only natural history. Every little primate gene is a DNA machine programmed to seek territory, programmed to seek territory. Ringmaster Singh, the politicians, first male singer, the politicians, second male singer, the bankers, third male singer, the generals, female singer, the goddamn genes. Reich. In other words, cause unknown. Cancer, cause unknown. Schizophrenia, cause unknown. War, cause unknown. But is not all this the sign of a diseased species? Does it not suggest the existence of a general emotional plague afflicting the whole human race? Say, objection. Defendant is making speeches again. The existence of this so-called emotional plague has never been demonstrated. Reich. It is obviously, grossly, palpably, right before your eyes, every moment in every human gathering, in parliaments, in corporations, in families, right here in the circus you call a courtroom. We literally are not responsible for what we are doing. We literally do not see what we are doing. Ringmaster. Defendant has done it again. I am going to have to cite you for contempt if you do not control yourself, Dr. Reich. Reich. I am merely trying to explain. Dash. There's another ear-splitting whistle at high decibels level from the computer in the lobby. The actors all jump. Hopefully, the audience does too. Massage shaken. Jesus motherfucking Christ. Reich. Just another Hiroshima being prepared. Cause unknown. First male singer. The politicians. Second male singer. The bankers. Third male singer, the generals, female singer, our goddamn jeans. Ringmaster, still recovering from the shock. I thought I ordered that, that contraption removed from this court. And then it goes into first acrobat enters. Let's call it there. You get the gist brilliant book robert anton wilson's wilhelm reich and hell apologies for tapping it might have been too loud okay brilliant book okay beautiful beautiful book and robert anton wilson what a writer what a philosopher, one of the greatest philosophers of our time. Okay. Battery low. Dancing visual. Battery low. So cheerio chicho. Thank you for the Disney princess tune. <laughs> My pleasure. My pleasure. Robert Anton Wilson, Wilhelm Reichenhal. Read it. Watch the musical. I've read this once and watched the musical once. I enjoy reading it more than the musical, but I think I might give the musical another watch. So, so far, out of the 21 books, we have read book 6, book 14, book 15, or parts of it, book 7, excerpts of it, book 5, and book 21. Okay. Book 21 very cool I'm gonna fold this like this so I know which ones we've read 
Lark Barth, thank you so much, my friend. It is such a joy watching your your content, listening to you read. Oh, my pleasure, Lark Barth. Thank you again, everybody, for being here. Only after you've lost everything. Salute, gang. And just so you know, Wilhelm Reich died of a heart attack a week before he was supposed to, I believe a week before he was supposed to be released from prison. Epsteinish to a degree, right? But Epstein didn't kill himself has two meanings. He didn't, either didn't kill himself or he's not dead. They killed Wilhelm Reich. Okay. They killed one home wreck. Gang, thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, it's a pleasure to do this. And I think uh, we're going to continue with book readings. I'm really enjoying this. And I hope you guys are as well. Okay. I hope you guys are as well. Um, the odds are we're not going to do a live stream next weekend. Uh, just because I'm going to be crazy busy. And gang, let's pour us a drink because after reading these three books, excerpts from it, all of it related. All of it related. Oh, sorry about the sharp sound. Gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified. For trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we humanity desperately needs in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless resources available online book readings are swell platonic Explorer says and gang as an outro we're on patreon we're on substack we're on subscribe star you're definitely welcome to join us there we do have a gilded server uh, to Julian. You're definitely welcome to join us there. We are live streaming on Twitch, on BitChute, on sorry, Twitch, Rumble, and SensorTube right now. Hopefully, we'll be adding BitChute, Odyssey, maybe Kill and uh, Kicked and Pill, Pilled as well, or Kick and Pilled as well, and. Uh, foreseeable future sooner rather than later okay we are recording this on a lapel mic and we'll be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast we are on twitter we're on minds we're on vk we're on gab we're on substack notes and we're on getter for those of you that are supporting this work enjoying the content coming to our live streams gang thank you very much for being here Thank you for the love, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And again, mods, thank you. Peace, everyone. <laughs>